Today we're going to talk about something called a session inside PHP and a session is a little bit different than a session variable which we talked about in the last episode. Now let's pretend for a second that I want to create a session variable and I want to access this session variable and use it inside my page here. Now in order to do that we're going to have to have a session running inside our page because otherwise we can actually gain access to our session variable on every single page inside our website. And an example you guys might want to use this. Let's pretend for a second that we have a website with a login system and I type in my username and my password and then I hit login. Now, if I did actually, you know, choose the right username and password and I want to log in, now in order to actually, you know, make the website remember that we're logged in, we're going to have to save our username or something that our website will remember inside our session. Otherwise, the website can't actually remember that we're locked in. So to give you guys an example, let's actually go ahead and create a session variable inside my document here called index.php. And I do want you guys to bear in mind that I do actually have a navigation in here and I have another page called contact.php. So if I do actually go in and refresh my browser, you guys can see we just have a navigation in here. I have home and I have contact and I can click between them if I want to. Now, going back to my front page, I'm going to go down to my body tag and I'm going to create a session variable. So I'm going to say variable underscore session brackets and I'm going to set it equal to some kind of string. Now inside my session brackets, I'm going to call this one username like so. And it's going to be equal to Danny948A just because that kind of looks like a username. So now if I do actually go underneath here and echo this thing up here, you know, the, the actual name of the session, like so. Inside my front page, you guys will notice that we get Danny948A. But if I were to go into my contact page now, you guys can see we get nothing. Well, we do actually need to include the echo inside our contact page, of course. So if I go into my contact page, paste it in. We should be able to, you know, spit out our username, but we get an error message instead. And that's because our website doesn't remember our session variable called username. And we need to do that in order to be locked in. So a way to get around this is to actually have a session started that saves our session variable and allows for us to access it on every single page inside our website. So what I'm going to do in order to do that, you know, to actually start up a session is to go at the very top of my page here and create a short piece of code. I'm going to start off my PHP tags at the very top and inside the PHP tags, I'm going to say session underscore start parentheses. Now that I have these, I will actually have my session variable saved inside my session, which I started at the very top of the page here. So if I go ahead and copy my session variable and paste it on top of my contact page, I should actually be able to remember the actual username. So if I go back to my home page, you guys can see, okay, now we just set it as Danny948A. If I go to my contact page, now it's in there as well. So using the session start function, we can actually start up the session on every single page inside our website and it will remember our username which we need in order to be locked in. So just to give you guys a small tip for creating session starts. Now, a typical thing to do would be to split your you know, website into different documents. For example, I might split my entire header inside a document for itself and then link it or maybe include it on top of my pages with an include function that we do actually have inside PHP. And by doing that and then starting up the session inside the header, the PHP, we do actually have a session running on every single page that has a header attached to it inside our website. So we will automatically have a session started on every single page. So you don't have to copy paste it in the pages like I just did here, but I'm lazy in this episode. So I just kind of did that instead. So this is the basic idea behind sessions. And this is actually very important if you want to create something like a lock-in system because without a session, you can't actually be locked in or at least only on the front page or wherever you actually do lock in. So you need to have this for it to remember that you're locked in inside the whole website. 
Now, just to show you guys, and this is more of a bonus thing, but an example of, you know, being logged in could actually be to create, for example, a, let's say we have the front page here and I make a check that says you are locked in. So I can actually go down here and say if, and actually create an if statement. Whoops, that was too many. I can say if is set inside my condition in here, I can say if is set and we have something called a session username set, like so, then I wanted to do this down here. Now, also a little tip for you guys, always check for errors first. So I'm gonna say if the username has not been set, then do this. Otherwise, we're gonna do something else underneath here. So if the username has not been set inside our session, then echo you, I'm totally screwing up here. You are not locked in. Now, underneath the if statement, I'm gonna say else, and I'm gonna say echo, you are locked in. So this would actually be an example of if you're actually locked in, you display one type of content inside your website. If you're not locked in, you're gonna display another type of content. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, go to my website, refresh, and let's actually make sure we have everything like it should be. Was I not in the right page? There we go. I'm inside my front page now and it does actually say you are locked in because we do actually have this one set inside our session. Now, if I were to actually go in and delete my session here, like so, and actually delete my session start up here, like so, refresh the website, it does actually say you are not locked in because we are in fact not locked in. But now we do actually have a session, you know, set in here again, and it will say you are locked in. So, and again, this was more of a bonus just to show you guys, you know, to give you guys an idea about how the whole locked in thing works. Now, we're actually getting to the point where we can start creating a login system. Um, and we will actually do it after a couple more episodes. We just need to talk about a few more things, such as how to actually use tables to create something like a login system where you type in your username and password. And we also need to talk about how to create an actual user table inside a real database. And that's gonna be a very short episode. We're not gonna go very in depth in databases in PHP, but I will actually at some point start up a tutorial series on something called SQL and databases, where we will actually talk about how to set up, you know, complicated databases. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.